So I'm currently in Berlin for EVA 2024, and I've walked the show floor for a couple of days now, and there is a lot of cool tech to see. Now, one of the companies at the show is Techno, and they actually invited me to come by their booth and check out all the products that they're announcing slash showcasing. Now, of the several products that they showed in their booth, here are the three products that I thought were really interesting and I really wanted to share with you guys. Starting off with probably what is the most unique showcase of AI has to be the dog. And fun fact, it is actually modeled after the German Shepherd. Now, unlike an uh, actual German Shepherd, this AI dog is powered by Techno's Hypersense Fusion System, which essentially combines the data provided by depth cameras, optical sensors, and infrared sensors to ensure reliable navigation. And it also enables actions like the ones that you see on screen here. It can jump around, it can walk around, it can navigate itself and stay within the confines of the stage. And what's also really neat is that if you go up to it and wave, it will wave or shake its hand right back at you like a real dog. Now, I did ask, but unfortunately, the dog is not currently available for sale. I don't know if it ever will be. Right now, this is just a concept that was at the show, but I will hand it to Techno. It is a clever showcase of what AI is capable of. The fact that their AI is able to process copious amounts of sensor data in order to create these actions through, you know, a AI robot dog. But enough of the dog, let's move into things that you can actually buy from Techno. So one of the products that was at the show was the Techno Mega Mini Gaming G1, which is apparently the world's first smallest water-cooled mini gaming PC. And as you can see from the footage here, it looks really impressive. All the RGB lighting screams gamer. And I really like the futuristic design, as you can see from that kind of sleek metal chassis and even just the shape of the window. And I love that there is a window because Techno is clearly showcasing the craftsmanship that is the interior of the gaming PC. You can see the piping and just how neatly the water cooling system and all the other components are laid out inside the chassis. It's really nice. But it's not all just about looks. Under the hood, you've got a lot of goodies as well. The gaming PC is powered by a 13th gen Intel Core i9 processor, which has 14 cores and 20 threads, and it supports a clock speed of up to 5.4 gigahertz. Powering the graphics, you've got an NVIDIA RTX 4060, which also includes NVIDIA's DLSS 3 tech, which does use AI to to help with graphics quality and gaming performance. And as the name implies, to keep all the components cool, you've got a water cooling system, which Techno claims to be whisper quiet while still effectively dissipating heat. So you'll be able to game uninterrupted by the sound of a loud cooling pump or just loud fans. It's supposed to be a nice, pleasant, quiet gaming experience. Now, of course, in order to showcase the gaming PC, they did have a rep from Techno, whose job it was to just, you know, play a game, which, you know, if you're looking to hire, Please hire me. <laughs> but yeah, for my limited time kind of observing the gaming, I didn't see any drop frames. The graphics look great. And I'm excited to see kind of where this product goes. And if you are interested in getting your hands on this product, you can actually get it on Kickstarter. I'll show the price on screen here. So that's really neat for somebody who wanted a flashy looking gaming PC that performs well, but without the bulk of a tower gaming PC. Now, saving the best for last, I think the most impressive product at the Techno booth for IFA 2024 has to be the Pocket Go, which is an augmented reality headset and controller system. So the headset itself comes with a 0.71 inch micro LED screen, which according to Techno is supposed to recreate the experience of looking at a display that is 18 feet big but from about 20 feet away from you. Now, actually putting on the glasses, I did get to try them out for a bit. I was really surprised with how lightweight the headset felt on my head. I didn't feel fatigued, so I can definitely see myself putting the headset on and gaming for a long time if I wanted to. It felt really comfortable. And of course, it was just impressive to have that much screen real estate on your head without having to look at an actual giant monitor. And the fact that it's all built into a frame that's about the size of my glasses, just a little chunkier, and that's impressive. Now, powering the glasses is an AMD Ryzen 7 processor. Now, truthfully, this processor isn't gonna beat the performance of a high-end gaming desktop, and you're probably gonna have to bring the settings of your games down to about 1080p with some of the graphic settings on low. But again, the fact that you can even take your games with you and have that much visual real estate on the go, I think is impressive enough. The headset also comes with a 50 watt hour battery, which I believe lasts around two hours, so not the best. However, it is in line with the Apple Vision Pro, so yeah, it should be fine. Now, part of Techno's marketing claims for the Pocket Go is 6D gaming, but what that basically means is that the headset comes with a six axis gyroscope. 
And with this gyroscope, it's combined with some AI algorithms in order to provide you with accurate head tracking and to even add more to the immersion. There are vibration motors in the headset and in the controller so that you have some feedback while you're gaming. And I definitely felt that during my experience with the headset because I kept crashing into every building when I was trying to drive a car. It took me two minutes to find out how to reverse the car. <laughs> Oh man. Currently, there's no official word on pricing and availability. However, rumors suggest that the headset will probably go for around $1,000 and it's probably going to come out later this year. But again, we'll just have to wait and see when these actually come out and for how much. So yeah, those are the three coolest things I saw at the Techno Booth at EVA 2024 for this year. Now, if you're into cool tech videos like this, then make sure to leave a comment down below and let us know what you want to see next. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And until next time, I will see you in the next one or on soundguys.com. See ya.